We begin here in Nigeria, where trade unions have suspended for a week a general strike by public sector workers, which has brought economic activity in the country to a halt. The decision comes after the federal government improved its offer for an increased minimum wage. It's not clear yet how much the government is prepared to offer, but it said it will be over 60,000 naira or $42 a month, which still falls far short of the 494,000 naira or 341 US dollars the unions have been demanding. But analysts say the decision to suspend the strike will at least lessen the pressure on the public, with hospitals and schools set to reopen and domestic flights resuming operations. Millions across Nigeria are still without power after a nationwide blackout on Monday following the strike. The government is scheduled to meet union leaders every day for a week as they work towards a permanent resolution. Nigerians have been reacting to the decision to suspend the strike. I feel that the labor unions should do more than this for the staff. Everybody is disappointed right now because the strike just started and then the conditions to me, I feel that they are not met. What government should do is they should look at the conditions that these unions are given. Now, if they cannot afford to pay the um, 400 and something thousand, they should bring it to at least a reasonable amount of money. If they are considering the private sectors, it is understandable, but let it be at least is something slightly above what they are offering, 60,000. Now, what is the cost of um, um, prices or what was the prices of things, goods in the market? Fuel should come down. They should regulate the cost of food stuff and every other thing. And so when they are offering you 100,000 naira or 150,000 naira, you know that at least you, you are earning a substantial amount of money. They should have called off. Uh, they should have remained resolute and continue the strike. We have the kind of government who doesn't listen until when there's things like strike. So if I labor, I would want to continue the strike until when the government do what they are supposed to do. So <laughs> labor eventually has become a dog that cannot bite. Yes, because you can't start something. Why did you start the strike in the first instant if you know midway you are going to call off the strike? when the government has not even given you anything. Why didn't you continue with the negotiation? You understand what I'm trying to say? Why didn't you continue? Why call him for strike when you know that two, three days you will call off and go to negotiation? You would have just continued with your negotiation and there shouldn't be any strike. Well, it's uh, actually it's a sign of relief to some extent, but uh, we hear that they have not actually fully resolved the issue. So going forward, we hope that since they have accepted to call off the strike, going forward, they might be able to resolve and then suspend the strike indefinitely. I would say it is timely in the sense that incessant strike is not, it doesn't go away for development, even for even the government and the citizenry. So calling off the strike, I think, is a, is, is a real thing. And I, I pray that this uh, calling off the strike will we all go away for the, for the civil servant and even the government. Where trade unions have suspended for a week a general strike by public sector workers which has brought economic activity to a halt in, in Nigeria. And uh, you heard from a cross-section of Nigerians on the streets there reacting um, to that suspension and the correspondent, of course, who was out there uh, talking to them and gauging the mood of the country is uh, a rice correspondent, Ponariman Benjamin, and uh, she also covers the labor unions and she joins me now in the studio. Good to see you again. Um, so just tell us why the strike has been called off. Well, we can't really say exactly why it was called off, but we do know that um, Yesterday, the secretary to the government of the federation called the labor unions for a meeting. And that meeting was from 7 p.m. until 11 p.m. So it was a long meeting. Mm. So from that meeting, we knew that something was going to happen. It's either um, the strike will be called off or the strike will continue. But so everybody was um, optimistic, waiting to see the outcome of that meeting. So today at about noon, 
uh, maybe 1 p.m. I, I got a message from the labor, uh, labor correspondent um, WhatsApp group that the strike has been called off. And um, at that point, there, was, there were no specific reasons for them to have called it off. But they said that um, after the National Executive Council meeting of labor, they decided to suspend the strike for one week, after mm. which they returned to the negotiating table with government um, to see whether they can agree on a particular amount on minimum wage. Right. So what about um, what you've observed out on the streets? Um, are things back to normal yet after the strike was called off? Okay, because the strike was called of at about, was suspended about at about 1 p.m. So when we got on the street, we realized that um, um, the, the street was still as empty as it was the previous day mm. because people just got the information. In fact, while I was trying to get some interviews, most of them were asking, oh, has it been called off or has it been suspended? They were not, they hadn't gotten the news yet. Mm. But, you know, when I told them some it was with mixed reactions. Some were excited that, oh yeah, that power will return and then flights will start operating and, you know, and all of those economic challenges that comes with strike. But some were not happy, you know, and their reasons are very clear. They wanted labor to push harder, at least to agree to a certain figure with government before suspending, you know, the, the strike. And some are feeling that, after they suspend the strike, government may not listen to them as much as they would have listened when the strike is mm. ongoing. So a lot of people gave their views. Some were not happy while others were excited. But I mean, things like, you know, the um, electricity grid that was switched off, is it back on? The, the flights that were disrupted, are things sort of returning to normal in that regard? Well, I will say that for the greed, the power greed, we haven't gotten a statement yet to say, okay, we're back with power. Um, I said the last time I checked, mm. there's still no power. And the airlines, I'm not sure if they have started working because, of course, you know, the suspension was at about 1 p.m. So it would be difficult. It takes time for yeah, things to, take to kick time. start again. Exactly. So uh, and you, difficult. of course, cover the unions. Um, what's the mood at, at their offices? Are they optimistic that they'll be able to close the gap between their demand and what the government is prepared to pay? They are very optimistic and they also feel that they, they, they have what it takes to push government forward, to mm. push government and ensure that government uh, gives them exactly what they want. Even though we know that the minister has said yesterday that it will be very difficult looking at the economic challenges that we are currently facing, you know, with 1.2 million workers and then paying 494,000 naira as against 60,000 that government is um, that um, government is proposing, it will be very difficult. They have they will have to pay so much, and government is saying if they pay that 9.5 trillion naira the economy will go down. And it's something they have to keep paying annually. And mm. it's really going to take a toll on the economy. But of course, um, as you said, the strike is only suspended, not called off. So are they likely to make good on their threat to continue their walkout if a suitable agreement isn't reached? Hmm. I feel that um, after today, because they're already having meetings. They will continue to have these meetings every day mm. to see that they come to an agreement. I feel that if um, government meets these demands, it may not necessarily be exactly what they want. But if government gets to a point where labor is a satisfied, reasonable a reasonable point. Right, in their assessment. In, yes, in right. their assessment. Then they, w they won't continue with the strike. Okay. Yeah, to be completely called off. For now, it's just suspended. Well, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Punariman Benjamin is a RISE correspondent. She's been covering the labor unions and the strike.